and uh, let me just think talk about it from the context of like the digital assistant alexa google siri all of these voice assistants were launched and all of them were female they had they had a certain kind of gender stereotype attached to it and it's funny why right they could have named it differently but then the moment you're talking about large language models you are calling it bard why so the mindset the way people think about it has to change so ai so that is on the subjective level like the product level and the decision making level that we have seen these kind of biases exist but then the other kind of biases which has existed is uh these voice assistants were not capable of understanding certain accents or understanding certain uh, voices like female voices were less understood than male voices why because it was trained with that kind of data set so uh it's really important and i'm just talking about it from the context of a use case right but the same kind of biases even exist in large language models and we have to make sure that there is uh, less of these biases which exist from uh, what is perceived what is understood and even if you look at it and i talk about a lot of these things in my book emotionally engaged digital assistant where there are biases in the speech recognition there are biases in uh, the natural language understanding if i say hey what's up okay it's fine uh, uh, the bot might understand like i'm saying uh, like what's happening and it might tell me like all good or you know some sarcastic response or it might say like oh there is a roof or there is another room or you know it's all about how it perceives 